Hello friends, Tanya here for another video with Trinity Stamps and this is day two of Sneak Week for the holiday release that will be coming soon. I am featuring the Tree Rex stamp set this time and it is this adorable tree of dinosaurs. I am going to use another new release item. This is uh, the Big Snowflake Cut and Foil and I'm going to foil this snowflake on this piece of heavyweight white cardstock several times. No, I'm sorry, just once on this one. <laughs> several times we'll come on a different project. I did this a little off center to the top portion of the card because I specifically wanted this to line up with the star on the dino tree or the tree rex. Look at that, it just nestles in there perfectly like it was meant to be. I'm going to take the modern embossed uh, rectangle stack and I'm going to use the four by five and one quarter inch die to die cut this. I'm just going to tape this down and secure it before I take it to my die cutting machine. And I love the finished detail you get when you use these modern embossed stack dies. They come in the A2 size, so the rectangles. They come in the A7, which is the 5x7 size. They have um, circle ones and they also have the slimline and mini slimline versions. So versatile. I took a couple of my ink blending brushes. These happen to just be a general color. I used yellow and red to create a beautiful glow over that snowflake, which is more of a star glow on this one. There is a coordinating die for the tree Rex, and I had taken these uh, this image and stamped it in a Copic Safe uh, ink and colored it with the Copic markers. I used several greens, two each for each of the uh, dinosaurs, and tried to color their bellies a little lighter than their uh, main parts of their bodies. I also used a couple of red markers to color the lights or balls, however you want, bobbles, however you want to call those, and two colors of yellow for the star. And then I die cut those images or that image. And I also took a couple more pieces of um, cardstock and die cut those a couple more times. Now I'm going to take a sentiment from the set, stamp set, and I'm going to heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. First, I use my anti static powder tool and I'm going to use some juicy embossing ink to stamp this sentiment twice on this scrap of heavyweight white cardstock. <laughs> and I did stamp it twice because I wanted to make sure I got a good solid impression. I'm using some gold embossing powder, taking a little time to let that settle on the ink and make sure I again get a nice solid image. Using a dry brush here to remove any extra embossing powder that I wasn't able to prevent with my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to heat set it with my heat tool. Just going to get that nice and shiny and raised. I love a good embossed em uh, sentiment. Now to die cut this, there isn't a coordinating die for the sentiment so I'm going to take this mini slimline stitched uh, stack here to create my banner and by using these banners with some partial die cutting you can use this set to create all kinds of great banners for all of your sentiments. I like a good sentiment banner and when I realized that I could use this die set to create different banners for my sentiments it solved all kinds of problems for me. It really did. I hated having to dig through my stash Having to find a die that would um, die cut my sentiment banners for me. This is perfect. I'm just going to make sure that's seated in the previous stitching so it gets a good, perfect die cut banner. And there it is, sending you a little tree rex. <laughs> that's so cute. So I'm going to put my sidekick away here. 
and we're going to finish planning out the placement. I wasn't sure where I wanted this particular sentiment on the front of the card, but we get it worked out. I'm going to take a little liquid pixie dust. I love this stuff. It creates a wonderful spatter. You can use it to paint on your projects. You can do all kinds of things with it. I love the snowy splatter that created for this card. I have an A2 or four and a quarter by five and a half inch standard card base here in heavyweight white cardstock. And in order to get a perfect sentiment on the inside of my card, I'm also going to heat emboss the sentiment that's going to go on the inside of the card. Now, I don't like to do that directly on my card bases because it does cause some warping of the cardstock. And I find it just as beautiful to stamp it, heat emboss it, die cut it, and adhere it to the inside of the card, which is what we're going to do with this sentiment. Again, I'm using the same gold embossing powder as I use for the sentiment on the front of the card. Again, having to use my dry brush. The humidity is getting quite high in my area since it is fall time and we're finally getting lots of rain. So even my anti-static powder tool isn't quite up to preventing all of the static, but that's okay. A dry brush does the trick. I'm going to use the same, I think it's the same die. With the other one, I could have gone the next size up and I probably should have, but I'm not gonna redo it. We're just gonna go with it. Here, I'm gonna use that same die to die cut the whole thing. And I don't have to do partial die cutting on this one because it is the right size for that sentiment. I am going to put all this stuff away and then I'm going to start adhering my card together. I've got this card base and I'm going to take my Barely Art Precision glue. You can use whatever liquid glue you have and, or dry glue, whatever floats your boat there. We're going to in, adhere that to the inside of the card. And I did briefly think about stamping the main image on the inside of the card in some light colored version, maybe a like a crumb cake or something like that. Um, going to adhere this to the front of the card. I did leave a nice wide white border. So maybe this is two and three quarter by five because it is a pretty wide border. Now my liquid pixie dust wasn't quite dry. So I put a piece of acetate that I use for a variety of things over the top of the card before I put my acrylic block over the top of it to adhere it. Now we're going to build my little layered stack of tree wrecks. I wanted some dimension and I'm layering three pieces of cardstock die cut with the same die. And then I'm going to adhere that to the back of my Copic colored tree wrecks. I did use some Sakura Jelly Roll pens in clear stardust and black to add some extra dimension and detail to that stamped image. I love how that makes the eyes of my little tree rexes, my little T-rexes come to life and how it adds some sparkle and shine to the star and a little shiny glossiness to those lights or Christmas baubles, whatever you want to think those are. It is on a string. They're probably lights, but I really liked the contrast of the red. They'd be cute in a rainbow too. Next, we're going to add some embellishments. I have some of the gorgeous gold baubles and these are either crystallized unicorn tears or fairy rocks. I'm not sure. I never labeled my container. They're both shiny, clear, iridescent um, rhinestones and one of them has a cool tone and one set has a warm tone. So whichever you're aiming for and sometimes it's whichever one's still in stock because they sell out pretty fast. I'm using my pickup stick to adhere those to the card and that is my completed card. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love to hear what you liked or imagine or have it been inspired by about this card. <clears throat> and if you haven't subscribed, now is a great time so you don't miss any of the next videos. There are links to all of the 
supplies that I used in the description box below. And here are a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Until next time, bye-bye.